Thank you for joining us. We are going to talk about normal human gait here throughout this video. The left limb will be our reference limb. So let's first look at a normal gait cycle and normal speed, and then slow down a little bit. So it's going to be from that left heel strike to the following left heel strike right there. Our first phase of gait is going to be initial contact. So that is going to take place very briefly in the gait cycle. Our heel rocker initiates and the ankle is plantar flexing. Moving into the next phase of gait, we have loading response. So from initial contact with the heel, we're gonna, the foot's going to come down to the ground there. We have weight acceptance. The ankle is plantar flexing and our heel rocker is continuing. The next phase of gait moving on is going to be mid stance. So mid stance is going to occur. The tibia is going to progress forward until it is vertical. The mid tarsal joints are absorbing the shock here and the ankle is dorsiflexing. And then we have terminal stance. Again, tibial progression is the name of the game. The rocker moves forward in the foot into the forefoot, and this phase of gait ends with the heel coming off the floor as the ankle dorsiflexes. Then we have pre-swing. So pre-swing is going to be in preparation for the swing phase. Uh, the main function is propulsion. The ankle is plantar flexing, and this phase of gait ends when the toe comes off the ground. Our first phase of swing phase is going to be initial swing. So the dorsiflexors are actively working to pick the toes off the ground and allow for normal limb clearance, followed by mid swing. So this is where the tibia is going to pass in front of the contralateral limb. The ankle is going to continue to dorsiflex to provide that floor clearance. And then the final phase of swing phase is going to be terminal swing. So now we have limb advancement in preparation for stance phase. So we're actually starting to lower the ankle a little bit uh, in preparation for initial contact. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video, if not just being able to look at the different phases of gait.